Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this edition of The Surge, airing on the El Paso Sports Network. Today is Tuesday, September 21st, Taco Tuesday, and we got a very, very, very special guest. Formerly WWE Sincara, but now Cinta de Oro. He's going to be in a very, very special match uh, tomorrow outside of the Blue Flame building for uh, home, the housing authority of El Paso. Ladies and gentlemen, Cinta de Oro. Amigo, welcome hola, hola. back. Welcome back, amigo. What's up, Ace? How are you, brother? Well, good. For you, it's Taco Tuesday. For me, it's a very special day. It's it's uh, El Dia de Luchador, the day of the wrestler, day of the wrestler. in Mexico. Now it's a national holiday, and and for us, it's, it's something special. The first time uh, Lucha Libre was ever taken to Mexico was September 21st of 1933. So I'm glad that now they they celebrate the professional wrestlers in Mexico. Y so for me, it's not Taco Tuesday. It's a very special day. <laughs> it's a very special day. Very, and, and your stuff's in the Hall of Fame out there in Mexico City, correct? Uh, yeah, there's there's some. I, I put uh, my hands in the in Plaza Galea, Las Estrellas. Mexico City, so I'm honored to be able to, you know, be part of history of uh, wrestling in Mexico. That's it's a great thing, great thing. And like I said, Taco Tuesday is always good, but <laughs> actual, yeah, actual it. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a great but thing. I don't think I want to eat some tacos a day before I have this important. No, match. you might you <laughs> might throw those a little up right there. But, oh, that was high flying events. No, yeah. we don't want you to do that. We don't want you to do that. So before we get to the event that's going to be happening tomorrow outside, um, how is it like getting to be back on the road? It's been awesome, you know, after uh, this crazy year and a half of, you know, all of us, you know, going through many changes in our lives and trying to do other things besides the thing that we were used to. Well, for me, in, in my case, it's just a blessing to be able to go back and, and wrestle, be with the crowd. And, and what I really miss was that um, that communication, that camaraderie with my with my friends, right, with my wrestling friends, with my wrestling buddies, the being in the locker room, traveling, doing all that, those things that I was so used to. So I, I'm just very happy to be back, be able to, you know, have a crowd and, and, and get that you know, action that with the people. Because I live of the people. I live, you know, from, from their applause and everything that they, they give us and motivates us. So I think it's been a, it's been a blessing. You know, I started motivating myself again in, in many ways, and, and I'm just excited to be back on the road and, and be with all the people that I love. Now, now you've been wrestling for a, a couple, I think you've done at least five or six events this just these past couple months, yeah, correct? Yeah, I've, I've done almost, I think almost like 10 now. Oh, it's been 10? About 10, 10 shows this couple months. And, you know, I went to Laredo, I went to San Antonio, went to Oklahoma City, uh, been to Dallas, been to Mexico City, Tijuana. So uh, it's been it's been it's been a nice ride, and I'm, I'm excited about what is to come. Obviously, there's a lot of things still happening and and opening up. Uh, there's opportunities to go to Europe uh, and next year. I already have a date for uh, for England in uh, February, so I'm excited. You, about you, that you gonna one. be meeting up with the your your buddy out there with with the Wolves? Uh, I'm hoping I'm hoping that we can do something with them. Definitely, it'll be it'll be something nice to do. And then there's there's a possibility of me going to Qatar. So I'm just excited about what what is to come, you know. Now, now, like you said, the camaraderie with with your fellow wrestlers. How does working with El Patron again? You know, being back in the ring with him and just getting that, you know, f- being familiar. How has that just been like a new fresh of breath there to do again with him? It's been good. Obviously, we we got to work uh, when I was in WWE as uh, rivals for for most of most of our, our careers and. We always had great matches with him. There's been a, it's been a lot of chemistry. People know that he's one of my very good friends. But when we're in the ring, we're professionals. You know, we we beat each other up. We <laughs> definitely give the people a, a great show. And and every time they they're we're together, that's what that's what we try to do. Give it the best, for both of us for the crowd, so they can come out happy and, and understand that that we work for them, that we wrestle for them, that everything that we do is for them because we understand. They're there. They're there to watch us wrestle, and you don't know how how people get there. You know, if, if they s- sold something, or maybe they don't have money, or they borrow money to see you. So, I always want to put on a good show for them, and I think also Alberto, you know, and and now being back on the road and being able to do things with him that he's trying to, you know, accomplish different things and, and different goals in his career, and me being part of it is pretty pretty awesome. Now, now, like you said, with the, for the folks going out there, you said earlier, hearing them. You know, yeah. you thrive on that. You know, is it? it it's like a, like a drug, kind of, right? You know, like yeah. just just feel, feel it, feeling. It's kind of a, it's kind of a, like a strong word, right? Drug, mm-hmm. drug. But, but it's true. As as uh, human beings, I think there's things that motivate us. For me, uh, I don't smoke, I don't drink, but 
that's one of the things that I really, you know, get me passionate about is, is hearing the crowd when they scream, when, when they yell, when they applause, when they, you know, really are into our match and it motivates you to keep going. And, and uh, sometimes, like, uh, I, had a, I, have, I had a match in San Antonio. It was really fun. It was a, the crowd was really into it, very interactive with us. And I was just, like, playing around with it. And there was this kid that had a, a, a Tejano junior t-shirt and he was the only fan he had there so really? we were like messing with him and having a lot of fun but it was really cool after the match the kid came up to me and asked me for a picture and we took a picture and and i think that that that's at the end of the day that for me that's the most important thing and having fun and and, and having the people enjoy themselves now how cool has it been now that your, your children are getting a little bit older that they can see you you know still perform at a high level like how does that feel like all right when they're little okay cool yeah. but now that they see it and they're like hey that's <laughs> yeah, they, un- they understand a lot more definitely now nowadays and and uh and i think they they love uh seeing their dad you know being happy doing the thing that that, that makes him happy because for me that's, that's that's the most important thing being happy in what you do and and when they see me and when they ask me all kinds of questions it's, it's a lot of fun that they have that interest in what i do not just not just knowing that i'm a professional wrestler but the interest they want to know like uh where am i going with my wrestling, they always want to know if I won or if I lost. And all like, who's that? that? Who's that? Exactly. You know, I was like, Dad, do you did you win? And then my daughter the other day, she's like, Of course he won. Like you know, that's what my, my <laughs> so dad right there, right? <laughs> to, to be able to uh, share now that they're older a little bit more of my career and 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 they understand it more now. And that's it's a great thing. Now, great thing. A uh, little off topic. Uh, your friend uh, Big E got a like nice little title yeah, run out there. Yeah, yeah. How how does it feel finally? You know, to see your friend. You know get to that level biggie biggie is a very likable guy he's a great person he's a very mellow guy and and he's a hard worker man ever since we met obviously there's a story behind me and him and it was he he told it on his on the on the podcast and and their podcast and it was a lot it was a lot of fun but you never know what what you know <laughs> the memories that, that sometimes you can remember but uh he was always one of those guys that i that i got to work with that it was a lot of fun that you know, no no egos involved. He was always there to just put on a show. Uh, actually, uh, one of the matches that I had with him, the most one of the most memorable ones, or for me the most memorable was uh, at the Barclays Center. Uh, oh, I ended okay. up it was a, a singles match, and uh, I ended up wrestling him, and I dislocated my shoulder in that match. Oof. And then they put it back in place, and then I finished the match, and it was just one of those crazy nights, you know, and and everything. I I didn't really know what was gonna happen, but we ended up finishing the match and. The crowd was happy. Everybody was happy, but they ended up being out for about six weeks after that. Because, uh, yeah, <laughs> like that to, hurt, man. Sure. That hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I had to uh, do therapy. They wanted to, uh, ha- me to have some surgery, but I I hold it off, and I ended up doing therapy. And thank God that you know everything worked out. But yeah, Biggie, Biggie deserves to be the champion. Biggie deserves everything that comes to him. And you know, I, I still have a lot of communication with him, which is pretty cool. That is awesome. That is awesome. Now let's talk about what's going to be happening live tomorrow uh, outside uh, on Texas Street. The what is it? The Lucha Live Lucha Libre Live event at downtown El Paso. How excited are you to wrestle in yeah. downtown? No, to be honest, it's like I I can't really put it into words. You know, this kid growing up in in, in El Paso and and uh, and the projects and housing and. Now being part of uh, this amazing show that's gonna be happening, obviously uh, that has been put on by by home by housing authority, and uh, choosing me as the main the main guy for this show is just awesome. It's like a dream come true, and also to put like the cherry on top of the cake, I'm I'm going for a world title. That, exactly. That's, that's, that's the main that, one right there. That is pretty pretty awesome, and uh, I'm just very happy, and I'm happy that that uh, my family is gonna get to see me at work. You know, my my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister, my kids, my friends, the people that are close to me, the people that I love, and obviously the people from from this hometown, from El Paso, from Ciudad Juarez. I'm just uh, you know trying to do the best that I can to represent who 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 I am and where I come from and always understanding that uh it don't matter you know where I grew up it what matters is where I want to you know where I want to go and what I want to accomplish and, and the main goal for me here and and, and this uh, show tomorrow is to show kids that no matter the dream that you have you can achieve anything and and, and that's that's the main thing so I'm excited you know it's going to be tomorrow 8 p.m. free admission guys free nobody has to charge anything you're only going to have to pay for parking wherever you park. Wherever you park. But that's about it, you know? And so we're hoping uh, there's going to be a big crowd tonight. It's going to be four matches, three before 
the main event before me and and uh and Rayo. He's he, Rayo is a kid that uh he's been working in the independence scene for a while. He's from Peru. He's done a couple of trials for WWE and uh he's a two time uh IOC champion and uh so he gave me the opportunity to to actually uh fight him and, and I'm honored because he's coming to my hometown. Not everybody <laughs> Right. Does that so I'm I'm pretty excited about it and and let's have some fun tomorrow, man. Not not just in your hometown. I mean, we walk those streets out say every day or whatever, just going <laughs> and and now you'd be like, yeah, I can I can win a title right here. You know, exactly. make 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 your mark. Yeah, make your three, mark. Three hundred four Texas Avenue outside the Blue Flame Building. Yeah, right there. The, like you said, there's gonna be four matches uh, going on and uh, just exciting. Just to, just to one participate back in El Paso live. Yeah, you know. yeah, definitely, definitely be able to perform in front of the people that, that you know, that, that you grew up with, the people that maybe know that you're from here, but they never seen you. I think that's that's something really cool. And obviously, you know, for me as as a kid from from El Paso, Ciudad Juarez, being able to be a part of this event and be able to give back, it's just an amazing experience for me. And then right down the street from your barrio. I Exactamente. Mean, <laughs> really close to El Segundo Barrio. <laughs> so, so, you going to Bowie Bakery afterwards? Uh, I don't know. If I'm gonna be, <laughs> <laughs> it'll probably be close. But, hey, tell them uh, to stay open. Hurry, but, come uh, on now. But, but uh, definitely, you know, after the show, I'll probably head out and be with my family for a little bit and, and see what happens. So, I mean, no matter the outcome for me, the most important thing is to be able to, you know, for the people to understand or the kids to understand that, you know, at the end of the day, what matters is your goal, what you really want to accomplish. The, the 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 real championship is not it's not a material thing. It's what you really want to accomplish in your life and what your goal is in life. That's a real title. Exactly. Like like it's it's cliche it is, but nothing's impossible. Exactly. Still, you know, nothing's yep. impossible. That you can still you can still do it. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow uh, at starting at eight p.m. at three hundred four Texas Avenue. Uh, Cinta will go on a little bit later, but go out and check out those matches. You know, great event that's going to be put on in front of that historic Blue Fame building. You know, exactly. D- don't don't jump off from the top from down there. All right, that's that's a pretty big job. You, no, you've no, done no. you've done some I, crazy ones, but <laughs> <laughs> you know we don't want you to do that one. Um, so where can people find uh, updates about you? Maybe buy some merch or anything like that. Yeah, we're gonna have obviously some some merch tomorrow at the venue where we're gonna be. Uh, Working at, and also we're gonna. Uh, if you if you wanna look it up, it's uh, Cinta de Oro. That's my Instagram. That's my Twitter. Uh, Cinta de Oro Oficial. It's my YouTube channel and my uh, Facebook. It's a Facebook page. Some people write to me, but it's a Facebook page. It's not my personal Facebook. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, we try and answer everybody. We try and you know, obviously, uh, be communicate have communication with the people that you know. Obviously, take the time to write us and. But sometimes I get asked really weird questions, to be honest. I can imagine. I, I can imagine. <laughs> but it's part of what we do, I understand. And I just want to thank everybody for always, you know, uh, keeping in touch and and uh, and staying in tune with what we're doing. So tomorrow, man, it's 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 a historic day for not just for me, but I think from for my family and, and for El Paso. I don't know if, if, if they have ever wrestled in the street for a world title in El Paso. So I don't know. Maybe I'm back in the day, back back in the day. But but you know what? We're, yeah. It's 2021, and you you're bringing it back. Exactly. You're bringing it back. Like I said, can't wait, ladies and gentlemen. Three uh, three oh four Texas in front of the Blue Frame Building. Free event. It's free. Yes. Right. Just got to get there early. Um, have some food. Have some drinks, and you know, hopefully, our buddy over here can walk out with a new belt. <laughs> new belt. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this episode of the Surge. My guest here. Cinta de Oro, the great one.